All right, so we're going to look at question number seven from the Unit 1 assessment. <clears throat> Read this sentence from the passage. It was all very well to say, drink me, but the wise little Alice was not going to do that in a hurry. What tone is suggested by the language in the sentence? All right, so this question is asking us to look at the author's tone. And so when you hear the word tone, you might think about somebody's tone of voice. Your tone of voice is the way that you say something. You can use a happy tone of voice, a cheerful tone of voice, a sad tone of voice. It's all about your emotion. And the tone of voice that you use all depends on how you feel about what you're saying. It's the same thing when you look at the tone in a story. You're looking at the way the author feels about whatever they're describing. So it is the author's attitude. And just like with somebody's tone of voice, or even if somebody says something in a regular tone of voice, you can kind of tell how they feel about what they're talking about based on the types of words they use to talk about it. And so this is also related to connotation. If I was to say that somebody was the most disgusting creature I've ever seen, you could tell that I have a negative tone towards that person. I don't really like them because I chose to use the words disgusting and creature to describe that person. So what you want to do when you're looking at author's tone is you really want to see if there are any word choices or descriptions that have very strong emotions that are very strongly positive or very strongly negative. All right, so I can also use process of elimination as I'm going through my answer choices and that can help me select the right tone. So is the author being sarcastic and amused when he describes Alice in this passage. So to figure out if somebody is being sarcastic, I would usually reread the line and see if it sounds appropriate to use a sarcastic tone of voice. It was all very well to say, drink me, but the wise little Alice was not going to do that in a hurry. That would be kind of a sarcastic way to say that line. And if I feel like that tone of voice fits um, what the author's trying to say there, then I might say that, yeah, the author's trying to be sarcastic. And amused is also something that would mean that the author is kind of laughing a little bit with the character and thinks what they're doing is a little bit cute, but maybe also a little silly. So this could be an answer choice. Then I look at upset and resentful. All right, so if the author was upset, there would be some kind of an opinion from the author or the narrator in that sentence. So there would have to be something where they're kind of putting down what the character is saying and showing that they don't like what the character is doing. If it's serious and formal, well, we've talked about formal language. And so that would be that there's no joking around. Joking around would not be serious. And very formal would be if they were just kind of detached from what they're describing and just kind of saying like this is what the character did but you couldn't really get an opinion from the author from that and then finally gloomy and sad again if I read this and I feel like the tone or the mood is kind of sad there would have to be word choices that match it all right so again you want to choose what you think the best answer is and then for part B you want to choose your evidence which is best going to match whatever you select for A. So I could probably assume that each one of these pieces of evidence is going to match one of the answer choices from part A. So what I want to do here is I want to go through it and see which one is a sarc sarcastic and amused tone, which one is the one that's upset, which one is the one that's serious and formal, and which one is the one that is gloomy and sad. All right, so answer choice A says, no, I'll look first, she said, and see whether it's marked poison or not. Um, that seems to be an answer that is not necessarily sarcastic, doesn't seem upset, doesn't seem gloomy. This one might be the one that's just kind of serious, possibly, but again, I want to go through it. Maybe one of the other answer choices is more serious. For now, I'm going to say that that's serious. She had read several nice little stories about children who had gotten burnt and eaten up by wild beasts and other unpleasant things. All right. 
She had read several nice little stories about children who got burnt. Um, when I think about stories of children eaten by beasts and getting burnt, I wouldn't necessarily describe them as nice. And so this is probably the evidence that shows sarcasm. There's no possible way that the author is being serious when they call those types of stories nice. All because they would not remember the simple rules their friends had taught them. Hmm. I mean, this could be a little sarcastic, too. And then finally, a red-hot poker will burn you if you hold it too long. Okay. This is tough. All right. Well, even though this is tough, they would not remember the simple rules their friends had taught them. That seems more upset than sarcastic. So I think I'm going to say that this would match the upset answer choice. And then a red-hot poker will burn you if you hold it too long. That's not sarcastic. Not very serious. I guess I could say that this is a little gloomy and sad. The image of somebody getting burnt. It's kind of a sad image. And so again, now that I've kind of figured out what evidence matches what tone, my biggest thing here is to make sure that I select the right tone. Because whichever answer choice I pick for part A, I'm going to choose one of these evidences that match it. So if I think that the tone of the author is sarcastic, and that's what I put for A, then this is going to be my evidence choice for part B.